hello everyone welcome back in cool it help in this tutorial i will tell you how to install mysql server on windows 10 let's get started open your chrome browser and type a simple statement mysql download for windows 10 and press enter and the following results will appear so here we have to select the first one dev.mysql.com this is the official download website of mysql server so opening in a new page and then uh, we will see these details mysql community download and this is free and here uh, we have selected the windows 86 32 bit msi installer just in front of that the size is mentioned 420.6 mb now we have to click on this button then you will be redirected to a new page this is the download page so here it is asking to set up an account or sign up for an account so once you sign up you will get some latest notifications updates information from uh, the mysql if you don't want to do that so simply go add this link and click once to start your download once you click on that link you will see the downloading will start and uh, file is big so it will take time so i have skipped that step i have already downloaded and placed that msi right here in this folder so guys this is 420 mb in size when we install it it will expand so make sure you have a sufficient space in your drive in which you want to install do a double click on this msi to launch it will take few seconds for uh, starting the setup after that this progress bar will start and uh, finally a uh, such kind of window will appear micros ms mysql installer adding community and the uh, very first screen for the setup so there are different kind of uh, setup options available if you are working uh, and you are developing some project so you have to select the developer default option so with this option you will get some utilities also you will get management studio to interact with the database click next then you will see the list of these uh, components that are going to be installed one by one so whole process will take few minutes so this is uh, downloading the components files from the net and uh, installing one by one so let them complete now here are all the components downloaded and installed now we are able to proceed on the next window and here this is the product configuration uh, setup so click next and uh, we have to select the first the standalone mysql server option click on the next and on this page we don't need to do anything this is a very far thing and for the developer purpose uh, you can proceed with the next and finally you will reach at this window this is the accounts and roles window so here you have to set up the password for the root user and please uh, give a strong password if you are setting up uh, the server for the production use and if you are uh, a developer or uh, creating your local server so don't worry you can give any password also there is the option to add more users and you can assign the roles what they can do edit or delete the database can update the database so lots of things or settings are there but but for uh, as a beginner level we have just given the password for the root user we have noted down that root user password so we have to provide in the later stage now when you, you click the next you will see this window so here this is options are checked because uh, we are setting the windows server as a service and this service will be started at the time of startup windows you can unselect that option as well it depends on your choice now we will proceed for applying these configuration click on the executes 
so one by one all the setup will be placed right now this is initializing the database and it will take uh, time so we have to wait for that after this step the server will be restarted this step is the main step for the initialization of database so don't worry about that this will uh, complete or it will take one or two minutes more and finally all steps of configuration is done once you click next you will reach at the product configuration which is done and this is for the mysql router configuration we don't need this thing click on the finish this is also done click next and finally you will uh, reach on this uh, window so here we are going to connect the server and we will test or verify the connection right now you can see the status is running the server is running okay right here there is a provision to check that connection is working or not so I have to give the password that we have set up enter the password click check then if connection is successful then you will see a status is changed connection succeeded okay so your setup is uh, perfectly done and few more things pending so we will proceed and this is the additional configuration uh, setup so click on the next and execute this will take few more seconds to set up the things and uh, click on the next so all these things are completed and finally you will reach on this page installation is completed and now uh, these are the options if you want to launch the cell immediately closing this window or you can launch the mysql workbench to start the work with the mysql so i am checking the first one and uh, launching the mysql workbench to start the work in mysql database server and uh, here we are this is the welcome uh, screen of the mysql workbench so right here we have uh, a very simple and uh, very nice ui for the interaction with the database and uh, how we will in go inside the database to check everything it's simple you can see the local instance which is running and the user is root as we have set the password for that and which is running on the port 3306 just click on this one and this window will appear so guys here you have to give the password that you have saved in the previous steps so the same password will be used here to log in inside the database enter the password click ok and such kind of interface will appear in front of you there's a options to uh, arrange the display and this is the query window you can write the queries here and here are a lot of options about the instance startup setup server logs server status and more information about the management of uh, mysql and if you want to connect to another database or you want to create the schema so go here and uh, click this icon to create the new database so we are going to create one new database as an uh, example so i am creating company dv database this step is very simple click on the apply button and uh, then click on the ok and this uh, script execution page will appear if you want to write the more queries here so you can write and click apply here and finally that sql statement will be executed and uh, the database is created inside this mysql server you can see the console output apply changes to completed DDB. and there's a lot of options if you want to connect to your created database so there's an option go to the database click on the connect to database then you can uh, select this option and stored connection local instance 
which we are trying to connect and the username is root connection method will be remain same tcp slash ip and click the ok so in such a way you can connect to the particular database and this will be uh, appear inside this schema tab so you just click on this place you can see the same thing is uh, open it as we have a default open and this is our database we have created and there are tables views store procedure and functions you can create inside this database as well this is a nice gui and if you want to work on any database or you want to uh, do a queries on that database on any table so first of all you have to select a database as a default schema do the right click and click set as a default schema so your selected database will be the current database in which you are working so you can write the queries and fetch the data or you can explore the database you can see i have executed one select query and the results appeared in the same way if you want to switch to another database do the right click and select set as a default or you want to change something so you have to select the option or alter schema so everything is very simple just so the query is executed we can further explore this and uh, this is the whole installation process and guys this is all yours do more experiment and explore this mysql and keep learning i hope you guys found this tutorial useful please like this tutorial and uh, subscribe my channel and guys please uh, press the notification bell icon if you want to get latest video updates on time for now thanks for watching cool it help